Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change the lower ball joint on this 2001 Ford Taurus. If this video is helpful, smash that thumbs up button for me. First thing we need to do is break the lug nuts loose, jack up the vehicle, and take off the wheel. Alright, next thing you're going to do is take off the nut that would be on here. This one, for some reason, didn't have a nut. Next, we're going to take this nut off. It's an inch and a quarter. You'll probably need a deep socket if your transaxle sticks out as far as mine does. If you don't have one, this is what I'm going to do. Stick that on there like that. And take my big channel locks and break it free, hopefully. This one's not that rusty, so it'll probably work. But you'll probably need a deep socket if yours is very rusty. All right, now I'm going to use this pickle fork and I'm going to stick it right in here and pound it in to separate the ball joint from the control arm. All right, so we've got that separated there. Um, see right there, it's moving. So now we're just going to try to get this control arm popped down so we can get that uh, ball joint out. All right, ball joints out of the socket. Now we're gonna push this thing back in, pull this out, and get your CV axle pulled out here off to the side. All right, so now, this might be kind of hard to see, but there's a snap ring right here. Um, you need to get that snap ring out with a pair of snap ring pliers. Um, Mine looks like it's broken. I might have to just rip it out. You should have a new one with your new ball joint, though. All right, at this point, you need to get yourself a ball joint press to press that ball joint out. Um, you can get these at uh, most auto parts stores. I'll have a link in the description below where you can get um, a press, ball joint, some other stuff if you want to check those out. Um, but you can rent these at local auto parts stores. Basically, you pay the price of the tool. When you bring the tool back, you get your money back. All right, I'm gonna show you what I got going here. So you got one of those receiving tubes there, um, right down there, and then one of the adapters up here. And then I ended up cutting off the lower part of the ball joint with my angle grinder. And then you got it set and pushing on it like that. Should push out pretty easy at that point. Um, after you get it out, you're going to use the press to uh, push your new one in, put the snap ring on, and then put the new nut and everything back the way it came apart. I hope this video is helpful for you. If it is, smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. And uh, good luck and have a good one.